Do you want to talk about the Steelers since we... Uh, uh, if you want to, we, we, we certainly can. We're on it. Thoughts on Najee Harris? What do you got? I mean, you got to hold on to him. I'm not cutting bait, so... Trading for him? If someone's panicking, I'd consider it. If you're on Dynasty Twitter... People you probably panicking. you probably never had Najee Harris then because he's the worst on Dynasty Twitter. I have him on one team and I'm in a full rebuild, so I'm not trading him. I mean, it's... I'd be down to trade for Najee Harris. It's certainly not the trendy thing to say or do to say that you would trade for him. I mean, what realistic are you trading for Najee? Because he still has a little bit of value insulated. I don't know. You have to, you're, you're paying at least a first for him. I would assume that you got to pay the first for him. So you At know. least the first. I, th- I think the first would be the starting point. Yeah. I mean... Wh- I, and you're probably paying a first plus. There's a good chance. Unless you're talking the top five first. Yeah, which I you know I don't think you want to do that. No. Um, Especially in Superflex. If I feel pretty good about my team, I'd be I'd be okay saying I, I'll I'll give it a whirl. I'll see if I can if I can yeah. get get the the late Najee Harris added to the team. Sure. And go into next year and that basically be my first round pick for next year. I'm, I'm totally I'm okay with that. Totally on board with that. It doesn't seem like he's been right. He had a preseason injury. Right. He injured it again in week one. Well he had he had a a foot injury and then he had a high ankle, I think. I thought it was some sort of some sort of minor Liz Frank injury. Right. Yeah, I thought it was that a was, foot that was the, the foot and then, I, and then I, from from what I read it, through a couple different sources was the foot and then a high ankle to go along with a foot. They've so. had a, they've had a whirl of it. They've had a, a pretty good a pretty tough schedule with Cincinnati, New England, Cleveland, New Jersey. And yeah, now they're playing the Eagles next week. <laughs> New Jersey, New York Jets, Buffalo, Tampa Bay, right? Uh huh. Pretty tough schedule for Najee up to this point, and he hasn't been healthy. And the Steelers have been transitioning to a rookie quarterback who didn't play at all in the preseason or didn't play. It wasn't the one coming into this year. Didn't get the valuable snaps. Figuring it out. Tough schedule for Trubi- for uh, Pickett to come in and figure things out. Like he got Tampa Bay and then Miami. Miami's defense was geeked up. Miami has a stud cornerback when healthy. You don't even throw towards his side of the field. But the Pete. rest of the secondary was depleted. But yeah, depleted. But they came through. They were playing yeah. pretty well. I mean, you know, Najee having a pretty substantial injury that he was playing through and then maybe re-injured it again after a couple of weeks of rest and whatnot, um, really never came off the field, kind of grinded it out. And then you have a guy who's not necessarily the most explosive player to begin with. Yeah. I think I think all of those things kind of compound into the, the start that and you've seen. And then add seen. a not great offensive line. Right. Too. And then you add a not great offensive line, like Jason said, and the rookie uh quarterback who hasn't been really integrated in what's going on he's not you know obviously you like all the check downs that ben were getting but i mean this game at least you did see i think five targets four targets four targets um, three catches so you 15 get yards uh, if if, if naji could get four targets and 17 attempts a game is that what he had like I'm, I'm fine with that i think i think that'll turn around the touchdowns haven't been there this season um and it, you know i know nobody likes him and he's not explosive and he's a bust and yada 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 and i want to dive deeper into this i want to spend a lot more time really going back and dissecting a lot of things and really going back to last year and reading about what's going on with this year i haven't necessarily had the time yet which is why we haven't really talked all that much Najee harris because i do want to actually get a full scope of what's going on but i do think he's a good player like i mean yeah you he might not be the most explosive player in the league and you know, I'm sure you can find stats to say that he stinks, but you can also find stats to say that he's good. 74 um, receptions last year on 94 targets. That's a pretty good stat. We did talk about him in the offseason and, and go to bat for him, and I watched a lot of tape of him last year. And this man's phenomenal. He he, To be his size, he shouldn't ha- be able to move the way that he moves and then also have these ridiculous receiving chops to go with it. He's just playing a little banged up. The Steelers are probably in a worse position they've been in a long time. The offensive line's not great. Like, nothing, the tough schedule, rookie quarterback, transition, like, all these things are working against him. So it's not, it hasn't panned out for you in your lineup form. This is the time when you buy the fucking guy. Like, that's how you play the game. You buy the guy when he's low, who you know is good at football. Like, he is a talented fucking guy. He can move, he can catch. He can handle the workload. Right. He, he's a little banged up. 
even even like, in this past game, like just just you know, constantly since he's been in, in the Steelers organization, every time he touches the ball, there's three guys in the backfield, and he's just it's similar to David Montgomery a little bit, where who's who we're watching right now is just. He never lets the first guy really bring him down, and he's he's always shifting around and 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 thwarting guys off of him and spinning around and and you know Najee does have good the good hands sort of like Montgomery, so no I I agree I think I think there is a buy here I know nobody's gonna like that a lot of hate mail on that one. Um, We're already getting some. Jared said he's not a difference maker. Yeah, okay. And I disagree. He's pretty I, much the whole offense last year. I disagree as well, and we're just you know it's just. It's not working right now, and, and I do think that, that him being banged up is a big portion of this, and then all those other factors, like we said, um, kind of go so into it. so much context that goes you know, into it, and, 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 and I feel like Dynasty Twitter doesn't want him to be good. They're mad at him because he doesn't have the explosive plays. He just runs over 20 yards and all this stuff. Like, they were right there. They were right there. Like, he hurdles a guy and has speed, and then he, catch, he caught 74 balls. Like, isn't that everything you ever wanted well, and more? It's just sometimes it doesn't fit. You know? He's Trent Richardson right now because it's easy to say. Sure. Um, and then, you know, Jalen Warren's in there. And when Jalen Warren's in there, he looks explosive and does his thing. I, like, I mean, we've talked about this. Like, I have a theory that nobody gives a fuck that Jalen Warren's in the game. Right. So they're like, all right, Najee's not in the game. Jalen Warren's in the game. Cool. Like, how many times do you watch Jalen Warren get the ball and there's nobody fucking around him? Like, a lot. Anytime I've seen, a lot of the times I see him get the ball, it's right there. Now, Jalen Warren's decent pass protectors look pretty good. And I'm not saying Jalen Warren's a bad player. Not and, a knock on Jalen Warren. And Jalen Warren should, like, they shouldn't just lean on one back. How many teams lean on one back? They should have another guy that they can rely on. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Jalen Warren shouldn't be anywhere near supplanting Najee Harris. Najee Harris is very good. And, I, you know, like you said, I think on a team where I felt I was really strong, I'd be fine with sending the first for Najee Harris and you know seeing what could happen like totally you know, agree Brian would you trade B Rob in a first B Rob and a first like I might try to give you B Rob in a second to get Najee to start yeah, the conversation I off better. I feel better about that just because I know people are hating on him and B, at least B Rob still has got a little love to his game to his yeah. to his name yeah I mean I think but it's a great starting I'll do point. the first it's a great starting point B Rob in a second Anything else on Najee Harris? I'm man, staying. I'm staying patient with Najee. Yeah, agreed. My man's a stud. A stud great breed. On it. Should I try and trade Chase Claypool now? Or wait until now the be deadline a good week with to all do the it. rumors around him. If he goes to a team like Green Bay or the Chiefs, I feel like his value would grow. Yeah, you know what? I, I think that's a fair point, and I don't know that. I don't know that you're. It's not like he's going to stop playing. Yeah. Like, you know, and he hasn't been bad. I mean, Pickett seems to at least be given life to the offense and, and there's potential at least games where you can have a Claypool game and still, you know, have people be. He's still playing nearly all the snaps. People be very interested in Claypool. So I, I think you can wait and see, you know, if, if you do get like somebody said earlier, when you get the trade, you get the shiny new object kind of syndrome. So that should certainly, uh, you know, I mean. I can't imagine the Packers are going to trade for Claypool, but you know they do need wide receiver help, and if that happened, that would certainly, you know, he doesn't seem like Packer material. Electra shock his uh, existence back into coherence, uh, Packer but material. he doesn't. I mean, I, I think they would take anybody right now to to try to beef up that wide receiving core and make Aaron a little happier. But I don't, like you said, I don't know if that's necessarily the guy. Probably want somebody a little older, more mature. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't say Claypool is very mature. No, um, I would say he's immature. I would agree with that Immat statement. Immature. Yeah, but if you can get, I don't know. I, I'm probably just gonna hang on to Claypool and see what happens from here and see what. Because he haven't, he's been left for dead. It was very dire straits there for a minute. You're like, ah, I'm very out on Claypool, and all of a sudden, a couple of weeks here. Yeah, done a little something, something. So I'm probably gonna wait see if there's any. Trade, but they, they did. Longer. They did seem like any of the rumors were that they wanted way too much for Claypool. Yeah, and they said they weren't going to trade him. But. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just hang out, see what happens here, see what happens with Kenny Pickett. Um, I think I think Pickett's playing pretty well. I mean, I don't, I don't, you know, the picks and such, and the way that game ended. But like, there was there was good periods in that game where it was like, all right. He got this thing rolling and jump started, and he's completing passes. He's throwing the ball with confidence. He's putting it where it's supposed to be. He's moving around. 
He certainly um, adds a little more life than the, the, than Trubisky did. Right. And and you know hadn't hadn't really I don't think acclimated to what's going on. He had a concussion just as he got rolling. He was the backup in training camp. So you know I think I think you know moving forward I don't the best is yet to come with Pickett. Well, last night maybe he should have ran instead of throwing that interception into the end zone. But yeah, um, it was that was towards Claypool, wasn't it? I, I don't know. Or maybe, maybe I think it was, it was Deontay. Deontay. Um, it was t- time was a factor for sure, but they probably could have got up and spiked it and got another playoff. And, and there was a lot of room in front of him. Not sure why he threw the ball there. He, he was seemed like he wasn't on the same page with the receiver, whoever it was. 